Hey Siri, prototype. What's the text? From a hacker standpoint, why is Sneakers the best hacker movie ever made? One sec. Sneakers is widely considered the best hacker movie ever made due to its accurate portrayal of what it's like to be a hacker. The movie features an ensemble of talented actors as various hackers and security experts attempting to use both physical and technological means to outsmart a powerful group looking to access sensitive data. It also accurately portrays the hacker community's sense of camaraderie and teamwork. With relatable characters and practical hacking techniques and dialogue, Sneakers paints a realistic picture of the hacker lifestyle. Respectable. Hey, this is Daniel Meisler with Unsupervised Learning. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do what I just did, which is invoke ChatGPT through Siri. And this is part of a series, which you can see here, that's called the Practical AI Series, where I'm going to teach you how to do tons of different things across tech, actually books, summarization, writing reports, doing presentations, but a lot of them focused around cybersecurity because that's my background. So let's jump into it. So this blog post here is something that I wrote to basically capture the entire process. It's just the written form of this video, actually. And the steps are super easy. It's actually two steps. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to actually download this shortcut. So this shortcut has been sort of passed around the internet a little bit. I think I'm the third person to edit. I added some additional stuff to it that uh, made it a little bit better. But you basically download it. It shows up in your shortcuts list. You can see I've got a million of them. But the top left one is Samantha. That's the one I just downloaded. It's named Samantha after the movie Her. That was the AI's um, name in the, in the movie, who was uh, Scarlett Johansson, actually. So you download it. It will be in the top left of your shortcuts. You double click it. When you double click it, you'll see the fourth block is a uh, a text block, and that's where you put your open API API key. And that's what allows this thing to work. You put it in there, you close it, and you are basically done. Somewhere between like five seconds and like 30 seconds later, it will be updated with your key, and then you can invoke it. This is what it looks like to actually um, put your key in. Again, we just saw that uh, live in real time. And then, um, you can actually just invoke it from there. Like, uh, I actually had some sick trees this morning, and I was getting ready to call, like, a specialist. And I was like, yeah, my trees are turning yellow. And then I was about to start, I actually started Googling and, like, looking for people in the area to help me. And I was like, wait a minute. I have AI right here, the best AI, AI we've ever seen. And I invoked it, and this is actually what the conversation went like. Hey, Siri, Samantha. What's the text? I am watering my jacaranda trees every day, but they're still turning yellow. What could the problem be, and how can I fix it? Give me the answer in less than 50 words. On it. The problem could be overwatering or a lack of nutrients. Reduce watering to once a week and consider adding a slow-release fertilizer. Also, check for pests and diseases that may be causing the yellowing. Indeed. So, it turns out I was overwatering, the ground was soggy, and that turns the trees yellow, which is not good. So it actually gave me the answer. I didn't know what the answer was. It gave me the answer. I didn't have to call anyone. Um, it, it Absolutely insane. So there's basically two ways you can invoke. You can do the inv invocation via voice of Siri. You know what those words are. And then what you do is you say the name of the shortcut, in this case, Samantha, but you, whatever. You could rename yours to Sam or whatever you want to call your AI. Uh, I've got different ones named Lex and Sam and different ones. But um, once you do the invocation, you call the shortcut, and then you basically speak. And now, at that point, you're speaking to OpenAI and ChatGPT. And then you get the answer back, and it just it speaks it out in Siri's voice, and you get the answer. And that is pretty much it. I said three steps. It's actually like two steps. Um, and that is pretty much it. I mean, it's that simple. You go, you download the shortcut, you put your key in, you save it, and then you invoke Siri and then call that thing. 
The other way you could do it is by pressing the button. So if you physically invoke Siri, then you just say the name of the shortcut, right? You don't have to do the first part. And that is pretty much it. One last thing to tease on the cybersecurity side of things is this right here. So this is basically a terminal implementation. So we just talked about a voice implementation. This is a terminal version. And I actually wrote a separate API. I've got a set of APIs that I've sort of customized around ChatGPT. And this one is command line based. So I could pipe something into it, or I can uh, just call the command and pass an input to it as an argument. And in this case, I'm passing it a JWT token, and it is opening the token and telling me what it is. So I could be using like burp or zap or whatever, and I'm finding all these parameters and I'm finding all these strings, and I'm like, what are these? It could tell me what it is and then potentially open it up. Like if it's a hash and it's a really difficult thing, you can't reverse hashes. Uh, unless it's an obvious one, like this one, which is the hash for password, and it did reverse that one. But that is a little teaser for implementation on the command line. And yeah, if you're interested in hearing more about this, you have to follow the series. It's going to be completely awesome. It's called the Practical AI Series. And you can follow us at the newsletter as well. It's danielmeesler.com slash newsletter. And on Twitter, it's Daniel Meesler. And we'll see you around for the next video in the series. Take care.